Good morning, everybody. I'm sorry about that. I just realized I was on mute. But this morning for my blog, I miss number 18. I just thought maybe I'd go ahead and put up the Christmas tree with you guys. Um, this week, it has been very, very busy for me in school. And, you know, I try to get around and just say hello to everybody. And I did a couple of lives, but I just want to put out a special message to uh, Joni's Journey. Um, she is a very, very talented young lady who makes art at home. And uh, I put her some of her pictures on my community tab so you guys can check it out. See how nice it is. I definitely will like it. She will appreciate it too. Already, um, she has already got people right now asking to buy some of her stuff. So I don't know if she wanna sell. I'm not gonna push her into it, but I know she's talented and I told her I would post it. And you know what? She's getting a whole lot of compliments. What's going on, Matthews? Happy holidays, darling. Paprika Asmiel, thank you for the gifts, darling. I thought I was losing my mind. <laughs> no, darling, never that. Matthew, how you doing? Hope y'all having a blessed day. So how's the weather where you guys are? Because right now it is cold and rainy here. Um, tomorrow morning it's supposed to get down to like 39, 29 degrees, something like that. And right yesterday was 70 degrees. Honey, it's like we're getting all the seasons in one day. Really. But anyway, guys, we're going to put up this Christmas tree. As you can see right now, it's a six inch. I bought it from Family Dolls. I wanted to get a live tree, but guys, you know, they had a, a burn van here in, in uh, North Carolina. So I ended up getting this tree, so we're going to make the best of it. But anyway, guys, I'll be right back. I'm going to give him a cup of coffee, and we're going to get right into this video. Okay. Fabrica said she Googled and apparently she's at 32 degrees. Wow. You know what? At least you got some of that Christmas weather. I wish it was snow here. A lot of people like, I don't like snow. I do. I like, I wouldn't mind having just one, one white Christmas here in North Carolina because we right now where it may snow, may not, we, we never get it. We never get it. It is always too warm or we just don't get it. So I would just love to have some white snow around here so I could throw snowballs and things like that. So, but anyway, good morning, that backyard life. How you doing, baby girl? How you doing? Right now, we just sitting here just thinking, getting ready to get the tree done. And I was tell, telling them that the weather here is we're going through summer, spring, like you got three seasons all in one day. And uh, I just wish it was snow. I really would. I really would. I love white Christmas. I really do. Um, I've been in the military for quite some time. I'm going to tell you the best places I love. It was Colorado Springs. You expected the snow there. It was so nice. But here in North Carolina, all we get rain and, you know, sunshine. I thank God for it, but I would love to have a white, white snow. I'm doing fine, darling. Doing fine. I got up early this morning, did my exercise, ate a good breakfast. Um, on day one of my diet, hopefully I stick to it this time, guys, because I've been, you know how I am. We know how to do it, but somehow or another, when it comes to us putting ourselves and discipline ourselves, I'm hard-headed. So I said this time, I said, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. So this morning, I uh, walked two miles very briskly, and I ate some grits, toast, and um, egg white, bo well, boiled egg whites, and I took the yolk out. So day one is diet, y'all. Hope I get it. And uh, yeah, I got on the scale this morning, guys. It was 158.5. So 30 days, I hope I can be saying I'm 145. You feel me? <laughs> yeah. But how's y'all day going so far, though? Mine is going good. I'm sorry for the stuff in the background. Y'all watching the Mike Tyson fight, so I'm asking him to turn it down a little bit. But he did. He <laughs> did. So I might have to go back into the back room and talk to you guys because I do not need a copyright strike, guys. I really don't need that. 
But um, yeah, on um, the backyard. Um, in reference to Joni's journey, um, I call her, send her email, you know, telling her about the gifts and stuff. Yeah, excuse me, about the craft she does and everything, and see if we can buy it. She hasn't got back with me yet, but you know, she is very, very talented. She's very talented. And you guys, you guys got any content, any new videos? Go ahead and drop your links because you know we're here to promote each other. And you know, man. I was journey. I was Joni. Just go ahead and sell her cross. She is so talented, guys. She is. I I would you know if if I see somebody who got talent or whatever, you know I'm gonna tell everybody. Hey, we got to go get you know help this person out, or you know they got it going on, y'all. Let's let's get to it. Two miles is awesome. Yeah, it is. And then when you're trying to get back on track, honey, it's the hardest thing in the world. But you got to push yourself. And this morning when I got up, I was like making all the excuses. We're like, you know, it's raining outside. We'll do it tomorrow. I was like, nope, 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 nope. We're going to stop that. We're going to get out there and get these two miles on, honey. And I was like, yeah. And I came back up that here. I was like, yes, we got this. 30 more days to go. And I'm going to do it, honey. I don't care. I'm going to take the phone. And yeah, and another great thing I love is that I found an application that even though I don't have 1,000, you know, subscribers, I can basically take my phone and download this program. And I know it's been out there, guys. But, you know, when it comes to technology, I'm going to get to it eventually. But I downloaded it on my phone, and I can take you guys with me. So it'll be great for you guys. And, you know, be like, hey, y'all root me on while I'm on this diet journey or whatever. Or then, and then again, I can just take the camera and go and do, you know, content that I always want to bring to you guys. So I am so happy about that. And I really am. But, you know, but right now, it's like... What kind of content do I want to bring? So right now I got all these things in my head and they're trying to tell me to find one niche. I'm not that type of person. I'm a, I'm a variety person. You know what I'm saying? I like to bring the content as I see it. So that's what type of person I really am when it comes to YouTube and all that. But hey, I guess I'm still trying to find my way through YouTube. A lot of people have been on here 10, 15 years and they still doing what they're doing to me. Hey, I'm going to find the right thing. But I know the one, three things I love to do. I love to cook. I love to talk. Everybody knows I want to talk. Sometimes I talk too much. I had to hush myself up. I like to meet new people. And most of all, I love, love making new friends. So, you know, you know, that's just, you know, just me. Any things I like to do. Of course, there's a whole lot more. You can't tell everybody about you all in, in one sitting, but you guys will you, you guys will see. I love planting things, but this year has been one of those years where I was like, man, <laughs> I'm going to get to it. I'm going to get to it. And uh, I know I was trying to do a, what do you call those rose bushes? Um, I don't know, one of, the, one of the rose bushes. And they're very hard to grow, right? My mom, she does it, used to do it all the time. Boy, I put mine outside and I'll, you know, trade, you know, take the dirt, get the dirt from Walmart, whatever. I sucked at it, man. But you know what? I'm going to try it again. I'm going to try it again, no matter what. You know, I look at things in life. People like to sit here and say, well, failure, I feel, I feel. We got to look at failure as being a tool to sit here and, you know, to, to basically, hey, I messed up, but, hey, I can get better at it. You know what I mean? And to me, it's not getting on top of the hill, but it's the journey up. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like this. I'm a type of person. If I fell at something like that, I'm going to find a way to come back and do it better. So, you know, that's how I just feel about that. I have not found my niche yet. Do we ever, Paprika? I clear. I know I was talking to um, a friend who'd been on YouTube almost like 20, I won't say, hmm, I think it's about her 11th year, 11th year. And she kept saying, she said, one minute I was doing crocheting, the next minute I was trying to see him blog like everybody else. She said, you know what? No matter what they tell you on YouTube, you do you. And when she, I was like, you know what? She's going to make it. She's going to make it. She's been around a long time and she's one of the type of people, she's like a, a mother figure, you know what I'm saying? So when she told me that, I was like, you know what? She right, just do me, just do me. And that's why I'm living by, I'm sticking by. It. And hey, content is what it is. But you know, when you give somebody a part of your life, you want to give them, you know, nothing but you. So they would be like, okay, well, she's real, you know? But it's a lot of things going on today. Man, I woke up this morning, I went walking, I seen two, two big dogs. I kept looking, I was like, what is that? Man, I had my stick with me. I was like, we're going to get up this hill. We're going to get up this hill. And man, I'm glad I got up that hill because I looked around. They started like barking at me, you know, and they always say, don't show dogs fear. And I didn't, you know, I just stood there, but it was coming out of me. But, you know, someone said, girl, you better get on up this hill. So I started walking a little fast, walking a little fast. And honey, I looked back, them dogs were gone. I was like, thank you, Lord. 
So I was grateful for that. And honey, if I'm out, and then one thing I want to also share with you guys, I mean, I went to the um, thrift store yesterday, looking for lights to put on trees, you know, trying to find a little bargain. And I came across this beautiful thing right here, y'all. Oh my God. And I always love these things right here. And I only paid $3 for it. And I thought it was a great, very, uh, to me, it was a great bargain because I love the way it sounds. And I know when I was a little kid, I used to um love the way it sounded. It put me to sleep. And I was so glad to find one of these, even though it has a little knock to it. You know, I'm sure I, I probably could find a way to fix it. But it was the music and finding one of these right here, these bulbs. And I always have loved them. So that was a bargain in itself, even though I couldn't find any Christmas lights. Yeah, but y'all see this tree? We're going to put some love into it. <laughs> and uh, right now, what I'm going to do is uh, take the branches and spread them apart so it can look, you know, more realistic and uh, put a little love to it. So that's why, you know, I just said, I see, you know what, I can do this, but I'm going to go ahead and go live. And maybe, you know, somebody who out there who ain't got no Christmas tree, you know, they, I can bring some of this love to them. So uh, anyway. Y'all give me about two minutes. I'm going to go ahead back here and get me a little bit of coffee, my sugar, and we can knock this out, y'all. Be right back. Y'all um, get to mingle. Get to know each other. Drop links. Be right back. I'm back, y'all. Gotta get me a little bit of coffee. Get my morning started properly. You know, you got to have, I got to have the caffeine in the morning. Got to have that caffeine. Give me that extra kick. But, y'all, this is what I got. Got the little tree and move his fan out of the way. Got the little tree right here. We're going to get to it in a minute. And my box of decorations. So I got the skirt already. And, of course, we got the ornaments. Y'all, uh -oh. excuse me. Got the ornaments here. Got the candy canes. And of course, we got a couple more other things in here. I got wreaths and stuff. Yep. We're going to make this tree look pretty. But right now, I want to sit down and Talk to y'all for a minute. Enjoy me a little bit of coffee because I've been pretty much on the go all day. I'm trying to find a little rest point where I can sit down and relax for a second. You know, you got to give yourself a little time to regroup. And just a second. I'm trying to trip over myself. <laughs> that wouldn't be good. Here we go. So, backyard says two miles. Is awesome, yes. And she happy face shades cool. Thumbs up from Paprika Asmir. I found my, she and then uh, Paprika says I have not found my niche yet. I know, honey, I'm still working on mine. I love snow globes. Oh yes, honey. And you know what? My grandmother she had a big collection of them. She had ones that you know that came back from 1920s or whatever. And I used to love to sit there and watch them all the time. And she would tell me stories about where she got them from. And I just found it very. Very fascinating. And then another thing she used to have was them gnomes you put in the yard. She she's out. She loved that always. I'm like, where you get that from, Grandma? She was like, child, you know this. She just tell me where she got it from. And then uh, Paprika says everyone is welcome at my house. 
Pepper, you honey, drop your link, baby. J drop your link. I have definitely, I love to go over here because you know what? I love the one that you did and you about your last video. That was very nice. I love it. Very definitely. So what are y'all plans for today? Like I told y'all, it's raining here. So we just chillaxing. I said, well, now it'd be a good time to put up the tree and catch up on some things I've been putting off on. So, hey, and man, I can't believe Carolina Panthers. Oh, my God, man. And this coronavirus, it done took some of my games back. What's going on, man, Max? How you doing, baby? Welcome to the chat. Y'all, Mad Max, he's another awesome content creator. He he got gaming and everything. Boy, he be on it. Y'all need to check him out. So y'all go ahead and drop links, get to know each other. But yeah, we're just trying to put up this Christmas tree, y'all. Thank you for the hard stuff, baby. Thank you. Same back to you. Back to you. But uh, we're just trying to put up this Christmas tree, and we're just sitting here talking, enjoying the moment, trying to get, you know, get to know each other, show some love. Yeah, but y'all, I'm going to put up this Christmas tree and, hey, get into the Christmas spirit. I really am. But yeah, um, I was looking at the news. It's talking about the COVID-19 and NFL and all this stuff. I was like, man, what in the world is going on with football this year? Here we go. It's time we think we out of this pandemic and here we come with something else. I was like, man, so I just pray for everybody, man, that we get through this, you know, we get through this. How am I? I am doing fine, Mad Max. Ready to get in the Christmas spirit, honey. I just got through working out today. A little tired, but you know what? Got to keep pushing. Got to keep pushing. So, Mad Max, you got a new um, videos out there? You today seem like a, I don't know, like a Sunday around. You're so quiet. Well, drop your links, baby. Drop it so we can go check you out. It's just so quiet, rainy, and seems like a Sunday. <laughs> so peacefulness, I guess. Gotta enjoy it. And I can't believe right now it is 60, 60, 60 degrees, and in the morning it's supposed to get down to 29. Getting all seasons, honey. My grandma used to call it pneumonia weather. And basically, you know, the weather changes so much, your pores are open up and you're more susceptible to colds, whatever. So tell everybody, hey, you got to make sure that you uh, probably dress for the occasion. Man, Max says, I just hit the 2.3. Congratulations, baby, a few days ago. That's what I'm talking about, honey. Raise the roof. Raise the roof. I love to hear good news like that. You know what I'm saying? That's what's up. That's what's up. I am so proud of you, honey. Yep. We sitting back here looking at old Mike Tyson videos, and I'm like, oh, my God, I'm really tired of looking at that. But I was like, let it play, because I need to do this Christmas tree anyway. Thank you for the uh, two thumbs up. I don't know. You know, I look up this at this, uh, at this studio part, and it got how many people up in here and how many thumbs up. That thing is always off, always off, because I know the other day I went live. I don't know who I was talking to. I think I was talking to Tony, what's up, or whoever it was. And I looked up. It kept saying zero, zero for the longest. And I was like, man, ain't nobody here. And time I say something, like, I'm here. There's like two or three people in the chat, but it still says zero. You two need to get on the grind, y'all. Uh, Mad Max says, I'm streaming late on tonight. Feel free to stop by. I'll be there. You know I will. Got to support. Those that support me, definitely, definitely going to be there. But, yeah, honey. Mm. It is so quiet. But y'all, um, uh, I want to send a special prayer out to uh, Bandit Boys. Um, I was going by looking at some of his videos. He had up that um he had a uh, COVID. So you guys know Abandoned Boys, please say, say a special prayer for him that he has a speedy recovery. Um, uh, if you don't know Abandoned Boys, Abandoned Boys is one of the uh, content creators I first met, and I learned so much from him. Um, he does exploring and um, gaming now. He's just you know, FML filmed, and um, he's a good person. So, you guys, uh, please say a special prayer for his speedy recovery. But anyway, y'all, let's get to this tree. So, right now, y'all, I got this is what's going on. I got my ornaments going on right here. 
Bought them at Family Dollar for about four bucks. I thought they was cute. Good deal. I'm trying to turn around so you guys can see. Move this chair out of the way. Yeah, boy, this is a gloomy, gloomy morning. This is rainy. Oh, my God. I thank God for the weather, but all oh, this rain, we need it. It just seems so gloomy today. But anyway, it's going to be a beautiful day no matter what. This is the day that God has given us, and we'll be glad and rejoice in it. But anyway, y'all, first thing I'm going to do is take this Christmas tree, bring it a little closer so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. I am first going to separate the branches, and this is a six foot tree and is already pre-lit with white white Christmas lights so what I'm trying to do now is just open up the branches so it can be a little more realistic I should have done that first to save some time but I see you know what I'm gonna enjoy this with my people and maybe I'll give me some ideas how to make this tree look pretty let's do it together so I am definitely opening this up. And you guys want to see what the lightning looks like. I'll show ya. And it helps me better see because y'all know I'm about half blind. I need to put my glasses on, but if I need them, I'll go get them. But yeah, you know, I was a uh, By Band of Boys page. I like his gaming and everything. I really do. And besides, he's doing, you know, what he really likes. And but, you know, when I seen that about, you know, he having COVID-19, it really touched me. So I just immediately start praying. But I know God got this. He really do. And Band of Boys, he's strong. Everything's gonna be all right. And then um, I looked this morning, I seen a reply, and I was like, you know, prayer is going to you. And he was like, Thanks for the prayers. And I knew right then then he, he was all right. So I was glad to see that this morning as well. So I keep praying that, you know, we all for band of boys and let's pray for each other. Because what the world needs now is definitely love and prayer. Definitely that. We don't need no hate race. We got already going through a pandemic. Lord Jesus. It's hard enough on everybody. We all going through it. So we pray together. We'll go strong together. Oh, I'm about to get this tree. <laughs> ain't doing too bad. This is better than the last one I had last year. I was like, oh, my God. It kept leaning. So I'm going to go get me a new tree. I really did want to get a, a real one. But when they had that burn van in North Carolina, I was like, Lord, the last thing I need to do is burn something up. <laughs> so I said, let me go and get me a little, little fake tree with some love in it. Let me put it a little closer to y'all to see what I'm doing. And I've got my eyes on the tail, y'all. Congrats to uh, Mad Max. Yes, congratulations, darling. Like I said, y'all go ahead and drop links. Get to know each other. Let's show some love. Let's support one another. I have no problem with y'all dropping links in here. Please believe it. You're leaving no, no family member from Carolina Diamond Production behind. For new new friends, you know, hey, let's get to know each other. That's what, all, what YouTube is all about, networking and getting to know each other. Y'all, it's coming along somewhere. Y'all see I'm doing something wrong. I got some suggestions. Please don't hesitate to tell me. Because I'm telling you right now, one thing about me, I never, ever try to be a, a craft, craftsman or a, uh, one of the, you know, home decorator guru. I'm working on it. Work in progress, baby. Work in progress. But I'm learning to enjoy it, though, you know. I'm learning to enjoy it. I can see the sun is coming out, so thank God for that. Hey. But yeah, Mad Max, congratulations on your 2.5, 2.3, baby. Definitely. You deserve it. Yeah, I'm going to look up in the chat just a minute. I thought about playing some uh, Christmas music, but I was not sure about... You know, if it's a copyright claim or whatever, you know, YouTube changes rules and I need to get update with it because I think the last time I read anything about YouTube and the regulations was, uh, I don't know, it's been a while ago, but I, I did look up the fact somebody told me that you can get a cell phone 
and use it when you got 1K, but obviously it was misleading, and uh, that, that that's not true. So that's why, you know, you can't take it by word of words. You got to read it for yourself. And so, you know, if I'm going to be a part of YouTube, I might as well get to know the regulations. But they always change. You definitely got to stay up on that. Definitely. Yeah, y'all, this comes to be pretty good. Yes, I'm going to be proud of this tree. <laughs> you know, they have my family up with me, but hey, today is a solo project with y'all here. We're going to turn around a little bit. I'll tell you one thing. This can be a break, bad breaker. <laughs> you really can. I can feel it in my back. That's why I say it's good to bend them legs. When you got bad knees, hey, you got to do the best you can, honey. Let me tell you, jumping out of airplanes for over 20 years will definitely put an impact on you. Yeah, I'm, uh, I see. It's coming together, y'all. <laughs> I'm getting a smile, honey. This is exactly what I need to get me out of that that weather when it was just looking all rainy and gloomy. Now here's the sun coming out. I got y'all in here. We doing this tree. Yeah, I'm gonna look at the chat in just a minute as soon as I get this part over here. And I'll turn around so y'all can see the suggestions. Let me know if I missed anything. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful Saturday morning. Well, good night. This morning went by quick. I got up this morning about around, I want to say about 5 30. Of course, you know, I laid around and watched the news, drunk some coffee, and I said, okay, let me get them go work out, which I did. And uh, I sat around, I said, well, you know, the morning is slow. You know, that, that was around about nine, 9 o'clock. Now I'm looking up. It's almost 11 o'clock. Here it's 1030 already. But, hey, sun coming out. I can hear the birds singing. It's a beautiful Saturday. And, you know, as I was walking this morning, I noticed another thing that I see a lot of deers out in this area in North Carolina. Y'all, I'm I, I will tell you, if y'all believe in the boonies, I'm in the part of the boonies of North Carolina, which is you know South Carolina state line is about two miles away. And uh I seen about I don't know about seven book deers. And of course, I live in the country and they don't cut all the woods down here. And boy, it's like every time I look up, I see the beautiful deers, beautiful deers. And I seen one with a 12 rack horn. He was out there just bulking, just bulking. Trying to get them, them antlers off his head. And uh, I realized, I said, you know, I, it's mating season for these deer. And then they cut down all the trees. They ain't got nowhere to go. So, you know, they out there having the best time ever. They just running, kicking. And, and the first thing I thought, I said, Lord, please don't let one of them deer come over here and kick me. And so, you know, I just stopped being afraid and looked up and seen the beauty and all of it. I seen little does going around with their little babies and stuff. And they were just having a good time. So I just kept looking and kept looking. And every time I thought I wanted to stop walking, I just kept looking up at the deers. And next thing I know, I had got to my destination. I was like, oh, my God, I did it, you know. But, you know, the significance of, of the walk was to get to get in shape. But at, at the same time, I began to appreciate the deers for what they really are. You know, I, I've been the type of person. I'm like, man, if I see a deer, oh, my God, I just hope he don't run after me or whatever. But. I stood and looked at them, look at the beauty in them, and they helped me accomplish my run. And hey, I was just so proud of myself. But most of all, I was in, I was proud of myself that I didn't run from the deer. So you know, sometimes you know you may set out to do one thing, like a task, or lose weight, or whatever. But if you put one feet in front of the other and stand your ground and say, "Hey, I'm gonna do this," you learn how to get over other things that in your life that you may have been afraid. Like me, I've always been scared of wild animals, like deers and stuff. And who would think that country girl, military, shoot, mm -mm, honey, I'm going to tell you, I'm, I'm human. I'm afraid of snakes, but hey, if I get one and see one, hey, is it going to be me or him? But at the same time, I don't like snakes. I don't like spiders. And, I'm, and I appreciate deers from a distance. At least I won't run from one. <laughs> so I thought I would share that with you guys. 
Well, anyway, this tree come along. Hey, so what do you guys plan for Christmas? Are y'all going to cook in, go see other family members? Or, I mean, what, what are you guys going to do? Me, um, I still don't know. I got many plans I can make. But right now, um, I'm taking it one day at a time because, you know, with this pandemic or whatever, it's kind of hard to say what, what I'm going to do. But if all... If all my, if I chose to do, I mean, if, if all the options that I got in mind to do, at least I can see and say, I'm going to cook a good Christmas meal at home and say, uh, protect it, you know, masking up and trying to make sure that uh, anybody that does come to my house is protected with COVID-19. I know we all got our bad views on it, so I'm not going to sit there and stress about it, but I, I just want this to be the most happiest Christmas ever, you know? No matter what I'm doing. But like I said, my plans are still up in the air. I got my daughter. She's in one, both of my daughters in different locations. And, you know. And then uh, with the plane situation, you know, here in Charlotte, North Carolina, people are having de uh, delays already. There was one person was trying to get to I guess California, he's still stuck in Augusta, Georgia. So I was watching that on, I was like, oh my God, if I did go anywhere, I would definitely drive. So, you know, it's still too early for me, but whatever your plans may be, maybe may you have a very happy and safe holiday. Yeah, I think this tree coming together pretty good, y'all. I'm going to let y'all see in just a minute. Well, this is tedious. I'm coming back to the tech, y'all. Please forget, forgive me, but I got to get these limbs right. I'm coming. That's why I said I probably should have done this first. I mean, we could have, <clears throat> since it's so time consuming. But anyway, I wish y'all can see what I'm doing to help me out here. <laughs> well, now they say two eyes is better than one. That is definitely true when it comes to my situation. Lord, I need to put those glasses on, but I do not want to wear them, y'all. I, I guess I'm still hard hit when it comes to my glasses. But anyway, it's coming along pretty good. Let me get this bottom part. And y'all, um, Mad Max, I got my um Xbox on, and the other day I was playing NBA Live, and I know I need to figure out how to put my face or my chat on Xbox <laughs> and stop using my laptop to record my my videos. But I realize everybody don't like gaming. I love gaming, but I'm not good at being a gamer, you know? So that's what I look at. And that's why I love Mad Max and Hunted Gamer. Even the Band of Boys, all, I mean, you guys are good at it. And so if any time I have any questions about it, I'm glad I got some people I can go to who are good at it. And that's why I was telling uh, Asmir when it comes to your nick, I'm still working on mine, honey. I'm still working on mine. And the person that I, has been on YouTube for a long time, I was telling you about early on 10 years plus, she's still trying to find her, but she's having fun with it. And that is the most important thing I see. You know, have fun with it. Some days you're going to have good days, some bad days you're going to have bad days. God knows I've had my share on YouTube where I'm thinking, you know, somebody's your friend and next thing you know, you ain't with the wrong crowd when it's definitely a drama crowd and you just get caught. So you have to pick your friends wisely on YouTube. I see that. I've been so it. And, uh, you know, and just enjoy it, you know. And one thing I've learned in Mad Max probably on the scene, I know, you know, if anybody knows me on YouTube, well, my mess up is Mad Max. Don't get in nobody else's job. We ain't got nothing to do with you. Stay out of it. I had to learn that the hard way. And so, but you know, now that I started sticking to my guns and what I know and listen to everybody else, it's been a joyous occasion. You know, we can't make everybody happy, but at the same time, you know what? Choose your battles wisely. I tell anybody that. Anybody. 
So, you know, I, I don't want to be a part of the drama, but I tell you, if drama comes to my house, I'm not afraid to sit there and tell somebody, hey, you not disrespect nobody in here or me. So if you can't comply by the rules, get the step, you know? That's not being a mean person. Just letting you know you ain't taking nobody's mess. But at the same time, you know, it, you know how trolls are, honey. You ever get a troll in your, I pray that you don't, for anybody listening, if you ever get a troll, there's, there's a lot of ways you can deal with their uh, childish behaviors. And, you know, I'll tell you three, you can hide them from your channel. If you <laughs> just, just like some of us, you get it so much, you want to be verbally, you know, I suggest thinking about that because, you know, you can defend a lot of people, but at the same time, you know, you got to be yourself, you know, and then another way you can do is just block them, block them from your channel. Or I like to do this, like somebody else told me, the best way to kill a cat is silence. Ignore, ignore, don't acknowledge them. So, you know, I, whew, I I can tell you a lot of things about that, but, you know, that is my, my, my little, um, advice to anybody and i have to tell myself that on a daily basis too because i've been looking at some of my old videos looking at how i grew up on youtube and i'll tell you a lot of the content that i did i didn't like so i thought about taking them down so well if i take them down i'm losing my watch time out and i was like well <laughs> maybe somebody see how stacy has progressed on youtube you know i, I try to look at the negative and come up with a positive because there have been times i was on youtube honey and I love YouTube, God knows I do. And, uh, you know, I didn't realize I was recording sometimes. And, man, it is what it is. Yeah, but this treat is coming together. It is. I'm going to sit down, y'all. Just a minute. Take a little break and look at the chat. But, yeah, Matt, Max, I got my Xbox One up. I'm proud of that. You know, I finally got to it. Sometimes we be so busy, little things that we like to do, we always put on hold. But I'm beginning to learn, hey, you got to put yourself first and give yourself some some time for yourself, no matter how busy you are, you know? Always make time for yourself. Y'all hope this tree comes along good. It looks like it's missing something. Let me turn around. Okay. Let me step back and look. Yeah, but I wanted to play some Christmas music. And I understand there's a playlist out there somewhere, and I gotta take the time to go find it where you can actually use it for Christmas and stuff like that. So, yeah, we start doing things like that. You wanna be part of an organization? You gotta know what's going on. <laughs> And I am definitely one of those people that needs to find out what's going on all of YouTube. YouTube changes so much. They really do. And I noticed another thing that uh, someone brought out to my attention, but I, I noticed it too, is that, you know, you're missing um, watch time hours. It might be gone today, but it'll come back tomorrow. I mean, it's like the algorithm is messed up. I don't know why that is. I don't. And I, I looked at the community tab about that, and they said that it was fixed. So... Hopefully, you guys, you know, you lost some, some people you, you're from your channel or you watch, watch time out that you're getting it back. I hope that you don't fix that. Because I know on some of my videos they're fixed and others are not. But, I mean, you know, when I get to where I'm supposed to be successful on YouTube, it'll come. One thing I stopped doing is looking at the numbers because, honey, I, even though I try to not think about the numbers sometimes you're like oh my god why am i doing this why am i losing people and all this other stuff so you do a self-check of yourself and you know i can see many ways i can improve we all can you know and then again there's times i'll be like man is youtube really taking watch time hour now this tree is coming together it really is yeah, I'm going to sit down and talk to you. Just a minute. I know I keep saying that, but every time I sit down and one second break, I see something else is wrong. I put a lot of patience in these, I see. How about y'all going to take a break? <laughs> Did y'all see anything else? What could be possibly wrong in this room? I step back a little bit more. Yeah. 
Yeah, especially here in the middle. I can see a lot of openings or whatever. I got to hurt with it. Especially over here. Hey, what you guys cook for breakfast this morning? Me, I cook the boyfriend some cheese and eggs and bacon and grits and toast. And me, I cook me two boy eggs, took the egg whites out, had me some toast and a half a cup of grits. So I try to get my carbs early in the morning. I do so I can burn more fuel because that's my busiest time. And then after that, throughout the day, I try to eat more protein. Guys, I'm really serious, y'all. I got too much junk in the trunk, and I got to lose for myself. 158, I want to get down to 125. And that is my goal. At two pounds a week, I'm not being harsh on myself because it's been a long time since I've been on the diet and stuck to it. Two pounds a week, eight pounds a month, I'll get there. I'll get there. And I know, you know, as time goes on and my metabolism gets used to working out again, that, you know, I might, you know, go over my my um weekly goals of two maybe 2.5 three or whatever but i'm just not putting this putting making it so hard for myself because i realize this you put too much if you uh put too much um stipulations on yourself then you know and and uh give yourself higher you know oh god it's true if you be too hard on yourself then you know what you're probably not going to make smaller goals. If you can't make bigger goals, start with smaller goals. And that's why I say, you know, they say the average is 2.5 pounds. I'm going to say I'm going to lose two pounds a week. And then when I exceed it, I know, hey, I can do the minimum. Let's, let's push myself a little harder, you know? Just like this tree, y'all. <laughs> Take patience. Oh, my God. And I'm, I'm loving it because, hey. At least yeah. it's looking prettier than what it was. Hmm. Oh. Okay, I'm about to take a break, y'all. Yes, it's getting there. I'm gonna pull it back so y'all can see and read the chat. But every time I sit down, I see something else is wrong. So. I think it'll look better as we, as we begin to put the balls and, you know, the ornaments on the tree. But anyway. Yeah. Okay, y'all. <laughs> it's taking me five minute break here. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, yesterday I went to the. Uh, I got a flu shot and a single shot at the same time. And boy, my arms is hurting. But guess what? I'm gonna get past the pain. As soon as I get this call, I'm going to sit down and talk to you. Warming up in the microwave. Yeah, probably got cold. I need to sit down and drink while it's hot. That's one thing I'm always on. I'm get coffee and just let it get cold and keep reheating it up in the microwave. <laughs> you know, my daughter tell me yesterday, you need to drink more water. Oh, yeah, I know. I'm one of the type of people, I, even though I love water, I like to put, I like flavor with like lemons and stuff, so I have to make myself drink water. Anyway, y'all, here I go. I'm going to sit down and look at the chat. Getting a little air here. It's a little warm in here today, y'all. 
I was I see it's like right now it's like 65, 66 degrees outside. And so used to being like 35, 45. And it's a little warm today, so get a little air going on here. Put it on this side. There we go. Much better. Oh, yeah. I'm back, y'all. Okay. One more thing, y'all. And I promise I'm going to say, let me go get these glasses, honey. So I don't be straining and saying the wrong thing with my eyes. Lord Jesus. Okay, y'all, I'm back. Let me scroll up in the chat and see what's going on. What's going on? I got two people in the building, three thumbs up. Hey, now, that's what I'm talking about. But let me go back up to the chat so I can read. Don't I look like a nerd in these glasses, y'all? I mean, really? <laughs> y'all see why I hate wearing them. But uh, Mad Max, he's streaming later on tonight in uh, the Backyard Life. Of course, she dropped the link. Y'all check him out. Check him out. And then uh, Backyard says, uh, to Cora, get well soon. Please get well, buddy. I miss you. And uh, Mad Max says, excuse me. <laughs> Y'all, my glasses need to be clean. Okay, uh, that Backyard Life, she said, congratulations to Mad Max. Yes, Mad Max has hit two point what? 2.3, 2.4. He's getting there, y'all. Congratulations to him. Y'all got to go back up because I cannot see. I, I need to clean. Y'all, I see what's going on. Y'all see that little speck right there? Got to clean it, y'all. Oof. And then I got my eyes dilated yesterday, too, y'all. So y'all know good and well. I can't see that well this morning. So y'all bear with me. Please bear with me. Man, here we go. And I got. Two shots yesterday. I got a shingle shot and I got a flu shot. I thank God that I'm not too sore. I can move around. I'm not sick with the actual the high the high strain virus. So I'm glad with that. And then um on the seventh, seventh of January, I got to go back and get another booster. Now I don't have four. Keep in mind, first I had a Moderna. Yeah, I did, but I, I waited for a long time, a long time to go back and get the series. So they're like, you know, we want to start y'all on. So I had two Pfizer's. Boom, no problem. So that's three. And now they're saying, well, you need a booster. <laughs> so they're going to give me a booster on January 7th. Man, you know what? Even though I love the fact that we can quarantine or whatever, but, you know, I realize that scientists and everybody, they don't know about this virus. I understand that. And But when they told me they got to give me a booster, I thought about it. I was like, man, why I got to get a booster? You know, when you retire from the military, the first thing I'm going to tell you, we're going to cut off your benefits. You know what I said? I'll be there. <laughs> I'll be there. So sometimes you don't question things, you just have to do. And you know, when you've been in the military, so well, I'm trying to get away from saying it because I'm trying to be civilianized again, which is, you know, something that, that you have to go through. It's like a transition. And uh, I'm beginning to realize that, hey, some things you don't need to question, just go for it. Especially when somebody says, Come on, cutting off your money. Oh, no, don't give me that shot. I would take it anyway, but I'm just saying, why is it that we have to boost up so much? I guess it is what it is because I am. Going to keep my family protected by enemies, guys. Enemies. But anyway, getting back to the chat. Um, Backyard Life says, uh, prayers to Corey. Get well soon. Yes, congratulations to Mad Max. Yes, my brother. I am so proud of you. Terrific gamer, man. Terrific. And his graphics, man, I'm telling you, man, they are epic. You guys need to check them out. 
And this is a hey, Max, I will. Paprika, Asmia says. And then Paprika S says, not sure yet. Trying to get the lights. Talking about Christmas decorations. And Backyard says, the tree is looking pretty already. Thank you so much, honey. But it's a work in progress. Now I got my glasses on. The first thing I'm seeing, <laughs> I need to go here, there, there. But thank you so much, honey. It's a work in progress, but thank you. And Alicia Clark is here. And you know, one thing I'm going to tell you guys, I found out about it. And I'm, I'm not going to get on this person, but someone told me that VOI.FYI, something, it was like, um, what did she tell me? It's porno. I was like, really? So I don't know if VOI.FYI is this is the actual link that, you know, because I, one person came to my chat probably about two days ago and they kept you saying FYI v, and you click on it and it takes you straight to a porno site so I'm not going to click on it yet because you know this person is here and I need to check it out but be careful of people like that because people come to your chat you know and they you know drop a link and it takes it to a, por a pornographical site guess what they're going to shut you down so Alicia Clark how are you honey I haven't clicked on it yet but you got me kind of you know skeptical about that because I know what that leads to so if I'm wrong, please forgive me, but you cannot get mad at me for trying to protect my channel. So um, I'm not going to click on it yet, but guys, please make sure, make sure that you don't have trolls into your chat. And Paprika says, beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. But anyway, guys, man, and, you know, me sitting there doing that tree. Hold on just a second here. Doing that tree has gave me some exercise in the back, in my back, and I can feel it moving. I mean, you know. The sword is leaving, so maybe I kind of needed to bend a little bit. Thought about doing some yoga too, y'all. I really have because you know I'm so used to weight training and all the other stuff, but now that I'm a little older, yoga might be a good thing to do. <laughs> might be, but anyway, guys, you know what? I am having a wonderful time with y'all. The weather is beautiful, he is asleep, you know, and now we can sit down and talk. The TV's down low and i can just focus on you guys so yeah the tree is coming together pretty good i think as we put more bulbs on or whatever it'll definitely look great i'm gonna be proud of this tree y'all i'm gonna be proud of it because i am doing it with you guys and it's so special knowing i got friends like you to help me out but what are you guys gonna do for the holidays though ain't nobody said nothing about that Man, I'm sitting here debating, am I going to drive to Virginia? Am I going to drive to D.C.? Am I going to stay home? And with the pandemic going on, they're talking about this shit everything down, you know, um, in New York and places like that. And it's like me, I'm just taking day by day, you know. I don't want to make plans yet and then have to cancel them because I had already had previous engagement and then, you know, they got canceled because of the pandemic. And so, like, it's like you just got to take the time, you know, even with the holidays. Never know exactly what you're gonna do. I'm only speaking for myself, but guys, whatever you guys, I hope you guys have a beautiful, beautiful, happy holiday. Really, there's everything that you want. You got everything you want on the Christmas tree. And so I said, not sure yet, and you're trying to go. I said, not sure yet, and we're trying to go to the outdoor festivals. I'm sorry, honey. Please forgive me, honey. Like I said, I got the glasses. But I feel you though. Festival lights, you know, we got them here in Charlotte, North Carolina, and it's beautiful, very beautiful. Man, they got like hundreds of, I mean, hundreds of miles of Christmas trees. We went by there last night, man. I just looked up; it was just the most beautiful sight in the world. And then uh, Carowinds got another thing going on the Christmas lights as well. So there are a lot of beautiful things you can do outside, guys. I mean, really, get out there with your family, enjoy it, enjoy it. Enjoy it. I'm still looking at this Mike Tyson fight. I'm back in, I guess it's about 1989, 1990 when he was at, at his prime. I'm looking at Don King and his hair, and man, he was just knocking people out back then. Now, here we are, 20 some years later, and it's a total different story than what it was. Time is definitely definitely has his impact on him but at least he's still kicking in because you know i i read somewhere and i think i seen a documentary when he lost one of his kids to um some exercise machine and 
he went through a lot of changes and now he's a stand-up comedian and he's married somebody else and he changed his life dramatically totally different from mike tyson we knew back in the day Man. oh that's what you did last year i bet y'all had a wonderful time i know i enjoy going up to watch the christmas lights with my family and then also seeing other people out there with their christmas lights in their houses you know just driving around on christmas eve you know i love doing that love it well y'all gonna get back to the christmas tree right now i'm gonna pull out the uh i'm sorry y'all i'm gonna get my mind off mike tyson i just, just knock this guy out oh my goodness he was an awesome boxer back then. I am going to go ahead and get out the things I need to finish the Christmas tree. To make pretty. I got the skirt, which is not needed yet. Sit that right there. I have my ornament hooks, which is going to be needed. Put the candy canes to the side, y'all. That's going to be for later. But right now, what I'm going to do is finish pulling the branches apart. Like so. And then what I'm going to do now is just turn it where extension cord I'll put right into the socket and don't have to move it so much because once you start decorating the tree the last thing you really want to move it it was move it because all the ornaments may fall off and me I was thought about putting some of those sparkly tentacles on it but I said no not this year because you know I love putting up Christmas trees and stuff like that but the hardest part is taking them down <laughs> but anyway I am moving the tree, so I want to re keep reposition it. Oh, Jesus. Y'all bear with me. You got me right about here. Man, that's something so good. And I was always reading an article about how people, you know, feel down or whatever, you know, because of winter, winter blues is what they call it. They got a better logistical name for it. But I was reading an article about it, and I seen a documentary about it also. Is that people tend to stand more in the inside but if we get outside enjoy some of the cool brisk air it makes you feel good makes you feel good about winter time i'll tell anybody you know the best thing in life is to go outside and you know go outside get some air you know it does want wonders for you it really does saying so booked up in the house you, you gotta get out and take a break honey you gotta get out and take a break enjoy the air exercise you know what i'm saying it's just outside for five minutes get on outside and get some of that good work some of that good old cool air to make you feel better I me mean, i love going walk to my dogs or by myself or whatever even if i'm not even in a routine of working out or whatever get outside enjoy yourself do something fun you know i always got to make time for yourself always no matter what There we go. Looks good to me, y'all. Y'all see something wrong? Please tell me in the chat. Here we go. First thing I'm going to do now is go ahead and open up my hooks. I'm ready to go ahead and put my ornaments on there. What's going on, OG Smokey? Welcome to the chat, baby. Just trying to put up this Christmas tree. Hope you and are having a wonderful Saturday morning. Hope everybody's having a beautiful Saturday morning who's in the chat right now. And I've got to sit down and talk to you guys. Man, I just want to get this tree looking good. So next thing I'm going to do now is open my ornaments that I got from $5 on sale. And I have some older ornaments uh, from last year, too. Y'all hold on, get a knife so I can open this. Be right back.
Okay. I'm going to do an access. Put my hooks up here so it can be easy to access. And place this in the chair. There we go. And I'm going to start putting my hooks on the ornaments and put them on the tree. So, first one here. Yeah. These branches, y'all, I'm still trying to make sure they're separated so they can make the tree look more fuller. Got to just be patient with the tree. There we go. I'm going to add some more. And this is the part I miss when my daughters would be home. They pretty much just take the ornaments and have put the hook on for them. We just do it together as a family, singing Christmas carols and, you know, drinking hot cocoa. But now they're grown now and they're doing their own thing. And, hey, it's okay because they're home doing the same thing for them. I'm doing in and out. But I just miss that. I really do. But when your kids grow up, man, you begin to reflect back. It's not the fact that you're getting older. It's, I think it's the fact that you need to sit back and say, hey, I did a great job, man. And now instead of me sitting home, I can go and go visit my kids, you know. I did a great job. So pat yourself on the back. Be a brown mom or, you know, you got little kids that's, that you're going to raise and you got some good things to talk about Christmas. Hey, pat yourself on the back. We did an awesome job. Awesome job. Even though I de definitely miss them. I think that the hardest thing as a parent when your kids grown is letting them grow up and uh no matter what even my mother used to tell me you're gonna always be my baby and i will tell you that's how i feel about mom they're grown but i'm always gonna be mom but i do miss the times when they were growing but they grow up so fast so i'm telling you guys hey cherish those moments because one day <laughs> they're nine now won't be long for they 21 off of college Or whatever they <laughs> said I do in life. Enjoy the special moments. Yeah, that should be getting a look good, y'all. <laughs> good morning, Smokey. What you what you doing after? What am I doing after this, my OJ? Are oh, you talking to somebody? To me, I am uh if you're talking to me, I'm gonna finish the tree and uh I got homework to do. I might be going live later on today or whatever. And I'm definitely going to be checking out some of you guys live. And I don't know. I might game. I don't know. It is, it is early. We'll see. So if you got any new content now, because I told, I'm, I'm definitely, um, uh, Mad Max, he's going live tonight. And a couple more people that I had talked to earlier, they're going to be live. So I want to check out some of you guys' uh, channels and content, because I know it's been a while since I've seen some of you, because I want to get up to date with YouTube. And some of my friends' uh, videos. So I'll be catching up doing that today. Yeah, it should begin to look cute, y'all. Get proud of it, yes. Monty used to tell me the bigger the ornaments they are, the pretty it is. And I love her. Too. She got the big, them real gigantic ones. I'm like, oh my God. They look like the size of grapefruits, and her tree is pretty. It really is. I mean, I, I guess um, I'm old fashioned. I like the more smaller size like these. I don't know why I didn't think to just sit here and make some cocoa and play some Christmas music, but like I said earlier before, I'm not sure if uh, I can play Christmas music. I'm sure there's probably a playlist out there, but I didn't get the chance to uh, go out there and see, but there have been so much of a vlog list. Maybe I can make some tomorrow or my tomorrow, whatever, next time I go live. We'll drink cocoa and do some crafts or something together, you know, make it more fun. But I was checking out some other content creators, Vlogmas, and um, they really put some some good ideas in their, their Vlogmas. I was looking at, I don't, I can't remember her name, but she woke up, started cooking breakfast, making 
gingerbreads or of her family. I thought it was so sweet. She was having a good time too. And y'all, sometimes I find myself decorating a tree and I don't know, for some reason, you, I just don't put more bulbs on this side than I normally would. Cause I guess because I'm looking at foam through instead of the back. So I'm, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and pull it out a little bit so I can make sure that all the bulbs are even and we can all see. I'm gonna lower down the laptop a little bit. Normally I would have my tripod and my uh, phone, but this morning I can't find my tripod. Uh, I know it was in the trunk, but I think I may have left at my mom's house. And we was doing uh, my cousin's birthday. Yeah, that's cute. And yesterday morning, I had the opportunity to go to one of my favorite stores to find great deals. Was the dollar store? The dollar store. Man, I went up in there, and I found. Some bath, uh, some bath salts, and a whole lot of the great things for a dollar. Dollar Tree, man. I'm telling you, I love Dollar Tree. Saves you money, honey. And all the little Christmas ornaments in there, like stockings or whatever, dollar. Candy, oh my God. And I love kisses. I love kisses. I, just, I love using the decorations too. I got them on my uh, table, on my centerpiece right now. And all I'll do is just take a bunch of uh, red and green chocolates. And put them around and makes the greatest ornaments. And I think it looks so pretty. And I found them on their sale for a dollar as well. Went to find my dollar and dollar Jones. Dollar Jones is getting expensively high, man. I think they're more higher than family dollar. And it seems like everywhere you look, you see a dollar general right around the corner. Oh my goodness. Oh man. I'm doing good, OG. I'm doing just fine, honey. Woke up this morning, got the exercise in, and say, hey, I'm going to get up with this Christmas tree, and I'm going to go live. And that's what I'm doing. You guys go ahead and talk among, amongst each other. Y'all see me just putting this, uh, these ornaments on the Christmas tree, but I'm looking at the chat, though. Drop your links. Get to know each other. I would sing some Christmas carols, but I don't want to bust y'all eardrums up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to bust y'all your drums up. That's good then. Yeah. How you doing today, uh, OG? Hope you're having a beautiful day and everything's going your way. Wow. I better get the front side of this tree. Oh my God. See? I'm bad about that. I like to decorate from the front and the side. Totally forget about the back. <laughs> but I'm having the greatest time with you guys. So y'all could be anywhere today, but y'all here watching me give the tree. I thank you guys so much. I'm glad you're good, OG. I'm glad you're good. I'm, I'm glad that everybody's doing great today. That's it. I think I got to put that branch up a little bit. There we go. Can y'all see the tree? Do I need to pull it up closer? Y'all let me know in the chat. I have got. I just want to sing some Christmas carols, but y'all know I can't sing a lick, so I ain't gonna go there. <laughs> I am not gonna go there. Yeah. Yeah, and um, also, guys, I want to let you know that every day I'll be posting a video. If not, I, I'm going to say every day. Let's say every other day. At least I can hold on to that. Small, small goals, right? 
I will be posting a video about my weight loss journey. I don't know if I should just do a series, just pop it up. And some of you guys who've been on, on YouTube longer than I have will probably give me some advice about that. But, uh, you know, I know there's a lot of people out there who's trying to lose weight. And some guys, some people don't know how. And some people probably like me know how. And just, just don't want to do it because we're lazy or whatever our reasons may be. I just thought maybe, you know, I'll share that journey. We sure need to share that journey together with you guys out there who like diet and fitness and exercise. And I definitely love to cook. So I'll be doing that. And of course, holiday cheers, you know, the live streams here, Christmas and all that. Of course, we're going to have us a good time. Like I said, y'all better drop some links so people can get to know each other. Show some love, my people. Show some love if you want to. If you want to, you, you go ahead and do that. I have no problem with that. And I love showing love. I really do. Yeah, and I got to go get the hair done. So y'all got to get the nails done. It's just you know I've been so busy. But like I said, you got to take you got to take care of yourself, man. School and all. And today is my day to catch up on things I've been putting off on, like this Christmas tree. Hey, man, we're getting it done. Get my hair done. Get my nails done. Yes. Yes. There we go. I love y'all so much. Y'all motivate me to do a lot of things. Thank y'all for being here. Motivation. Here we go. Y'all, this tree looking cute. It is. I didn't know I had it in me like that. <laughs> yeah. I can put up a Christmas tree, but some of you guys can do the most marvelous jobs I've ever seen with some Christmas trees. Man, I'm looking online at um, some of the most beautiful Christmas trees I've ever seen. People got their own little, I, I don't know, they just come up there on this very creative. I seen this one lady who took a bunch of little bows or whatever. I guess she bought from, I don't know, it was Dollar General from someplace, and she took some fancy other bigger and bigger bowls or whatever and came with the most beautiful um what do you call it, mistletoe uh display i've ever seen i mean very creative and then i seen this other young lady on youtube what she was just took a bunch of thumbtacks a bunch of thumbtacks and what she did was take a lighted garland that she went to the dollar store paid a couple dollars for it and then she just took it and put it in a, a tree design and she started putting some ornaments up there on the wall it was so beautiful can you put Mine's up. Sure, OG. Come on, we'll put it up together virtually. <laughs> you know I will help you, baby. As long as you help me with mine. <laughs> I got you, though. I got you. I got you. Yeah, but I see so many of the most wonderful Christmas ideas out there. And I love candles too, y'all. I love candles. And I see people out there making their own candles. I mean, there's some creative people out there. I'm like, man, let me soak some of that knowledge in. I guess it would be quicker if I can just go ahead and, you know, go ahead and tack on the hooks onto the balls like that. But like I said, I'm used to having my daughters or somebody help me do this, and it goes by. You know, a little faster, but today is not about how it speeds, about enjoying the moment, putting the tree up with you guys. And that's even better. So I'm going to try to let me see how fast it is. Working out. I hate when these little hooks get hooked up to each other. So now I got three in my hands. It's a little quicker. <laughs> Beginning to look a lot like Christmas everywhere you go. I have that song, though. Y'all yeah, about to be in the Christmas spirit. Yes. There we go. Now I have some more bulbs in here. I don't want to just make it just red and green and uh, silver. I want to mix it up a little bit. So. These are the oak ones I had from last year. I pretty much about the same colors too. I just want to mix them up a little bit to give the tree a little bit of flavor. 
like my favorite color blue in there and all that. So I'm gonna mix it up a little bit. So anyway, still looking at chat. I'll help you put it up. Uh, why you wearing your ring? I thought you were single. Huh? I am single, but I have a boyfriend. Not married, honey. But hey, I got a boyfriend. What's going on, James Brown from Facebook? How you doing? And look, I love these one right here. Where you just take it. Get a little bell sound, y'all. Hey, that is so cute. I love it. And then especially when my dogs come up in here or the cat or something. Man, I'm just looking for one of them to get stuck up in there. <laughs> so I can make a short video. We all laugh about it, you know. But hopefully, but hopefully. If they do, it'll be funny. Because I be re looking at all those videos all the time about somebody's cat got stuck up in the tree. Anyway, y'all. We're going to mix it up a little bit and give this tree some flavor. And the first thing I got right now in my hand is a star. It's a snowflakes. So, and these already got the hooks on from last year. So, saves me a little time with that. And I'm going to put that here. And then I'm going to get another hook. And place that star. It's bigger star. I don't know. Let's try this one. Over here. What about here, guys? You think that'll look cute there? Right there. Yes. Here we go. And then I'm going to continue to put more hooks on the ornaments that I already did. It's really cute, y'all. I like it. So we got the red and the blue. If these little hooks wouldn't get stuck so much together, it'd be so much faster. And then I'm going to take this right here, get up to this one. I'm going to do a couple minutes at a time so we can expedite this just a little bit so I can sit down and read the chat and talk to my peeps. So I'm going to do about four minutes at a time. And then we got a little gold one here from last year. Let's try to do two more. And then we'll get a bigger one, get a little bit of variety. Okay, we got four. We'll try four. Four at a time. I'm going to drop it. Here we go. I put them on all angles of the tree. Yes. Looking nice, y'all. Yeah. Can I call myself a Christmas tree guru? Not. <laughs> no. A one in the making. I'm happy, y'all. I love doing stuff like this. I love it. As long as if I'm doing something and we can share something, you know, like this, I put a smile on my face and I hope I'm doing the same thing with you guys. I'm bringing you a little bit of Christmas cheer. Now, you know, one thing about, you got to look at some of these ornaments. I was trying to push the hook inside that one, but for some reason, it's all sealed up. So we'll just put that one to the side. And then, use these two. We're getting low, y'all. Getting low to the floor. <laughs> Sweet. I can feel the work out of my glutes, too, y'all. I 
I can see right now I need to open up the limbs a little bit so we make the tree a little fuller. Now we get in there. So we'll be planting the candy canes. My favorite part when I was a little kid. I used to love when my mom and them put the candy canes on there because I would run in there and just try to take one or two off the Christmas tree when they look. Sometimes I get caught and of course, you know, that'd be my little time out or a little spanking because I've been had too many. <laughs> I'm like, didn't I tell you to leave that tree alone, girl? And after three or four times, hey, she'll pop my booty. Send me to my room. Yep, but eventually she'll go to sleep and I'll still go get some more candy. Of course, I'll be in more trouble, be grounded. But one Christmas, I actually got it. <laughs> so I stopped eating so much candy off the dog on the tree. She started putting fake ones up there then. <laughs> I finally got the message, right? Yeah, I'm still just open up the branches a little bit, guys. I'm trying to make the tree look a little bit better and fuller. More realistic. There we go. Now, I'm going to continue to put more ornaments on them. Let me lower this down a little bit so you guys can see what we're doing here. I guess that looks a little bit better. So instead of that, let me see. We put about five more here. I'm loving this tree, y'all. So you put in love with anything, and make it look, make it look good. Y'all yeah, can't believe I've been on an hour and a half. It's been just that fun. Look with y'all, really, it has. When I first got on, hadn't had my coffee yet. Haven't I had my thoughts together? And I said, like, I'm going to go live. And you guys make it so easy for me to go live. Make it easy for me. Because, you know, sometimes, even in content creators, we don't plan to do anything. Sometimes we just go straight from the hip and just do what we do. And this is one of the mornings for me. I was like, I'm going to go live. I don't know what I'm going to say. We're just going to go live. And here we are, an hour and a half later. Things are running smoothly. I feel like I want to sing, y'all. <laughs> y'all better hold y'all ears. <laughs> y'all see y'all put a smile on my face already. I love y'all so much. I do. I do, I do, I do. I do, I do, I do. You guys are the best. And so, y'all, I got a couple more here. And we're going back into the old school bag from the old uh, ornaments of last year. Give from the years before that. Hey, baby. Put a little bit more up here. Y'all yeah, singing. Y'all give somebody give me a Christmas song. I'm gonna sing. <laughs> On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me. I've got the words of the song. I'm gonna sing another one. Then. Is there any requests out there? I promise I won't hurt your ears too bad. Well, let's sing a Christmas carol. Let's get us all in the Christmas spirit. I'm taking requests. I'll give y'all five minutes to think about it. Y'all really want me to sing and hurt your ears. I'm going to sing. Y'all better give me something to sing. Give me something to sing that I might know. If I don't know it, I'm going to tell you I don't know it. We'll sing it together. So I'm going to continue to get these hooks. Jingle bell. Oh, I haven't looked down. Jingle bell. Okay. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingles all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride on a one horse open sleigh. Hey, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingles all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride on a one horse open sleigh. Hey, dashing through the snow. I forgot the words that one too. Mm -mm 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 -mm. <laughs> anyway, y'all. Oh, I forgot the words of that one too. But I know my favorite one is Silent Night. I'm gonna sing that one. Or Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer. Y'all remember that one? Frosty the Snowman. All of and I was looking at CBS the other day. They had my favorite, favorite, one of my favorite uh children uh 
cartoons I used to watch as I was growing up. And they had Frosty the Snowman. Remember the, uh, the toys that was lost and it was a toilet, never, never land or whatever. And then they had Rudolph on and then Charlie Brown. Oh my God, they took me way back. And then I seen the Grinch. Oh my God, the Grinch that stole Christmas. So I was like, man, oh my, can y'all believe it's been that long since he has passed? I don't know what, how old you guys are, but those are some classic cartoons. I mean, really. I love sitting back and watching them with my grandkids or even talking about it with my daughters, you know, because I used to watch it with them all the time as well, too. So, but yeah, man, fabulous times. But what are some of you guys' favorite Christmas uh, movies that's out now? I still love Home Alone. I still watch that. I love it. <laughs> I still do watch Home Alone. I love it. I'm going to think of some other ones in a few minutes. I love this. See that little jingle. I see that. I got one more jingle here. Now I'm going back in the bag. Get some old school ornaments. Y'all got a crap load of these. I really do. And I got some special ones um, in the bag, but I haven't brought those out yet because I want to go through these first. And then um, I'll be doing some do-it-yourself crafts you know, along this vlogmas journey. And I also got a uh, Santa Claus and a fire truck that I got to put up from Dollar General. So... We have a lot of couple of things we can do as we the vlog of before Christmas and next week gets here. We do. And my favorite thing I'm going to love to do, which I'm probably going to end up doing, is staying home and cooking and baking and all of that. Hopefully, hopefully that everybody end up coming here that's in my family, you know, have a, a nice little cozy Christmas. Okay, be right back. Okay, uh, Paprika, I'm here. Y'all yeah, gonna sit down and read the chat in just a minute. I see a couple of people that I haven't addressed, so let me give you guys my uninvited attention. Put a couple more on here. I'm gonna sit down for a minute, then we'll get back to the tree. All right. I thank you guys. Three thumbs up. Thank you so much. If you haven't hit that like button, go and smash it. It's free and it lets me know how I'm doing. Yeah. So right now I'm putting that here. Get a couple more of these little hooks over here. He's probably bet I would no, I'm gonna put like four or five of them up there at the same time. Cause you know what? With that, it was going about a little, little quicker there. And I know my coffin got cold again, so we'll reheat it and sit down and talk. Man, I got to do some trigonometry and write a couple papers a day. Oh, my God. I'm so glad in 10 days it'll be the end of the semester. And then I'll be working on another another degree plan. You know, as Uncle Sam paid me to go to school, y'all, this mine would not be wasted. <laughs> I'm going to school. I am going to school, even though I'm pretty much set in my major that I love the most, computer information technology, but there's nothing wrong with learning something new in a different occupation. A lot of people are like, oh my God, I'm 99 years old, I'm 64, I'm 24 age, I don't have anything to do. If you set out accomplishment or standing for yourself, don't let age suffice you. Do it, honey. Do it. Do it. Don't let nothing stop you from doing the things that you dream about. Not even yourself. That makes any sense. But anyway, here we go. <laughs> Can you put these down at the lower level now? Yes. 
shopping cart killer in custody after four bodies found in Virginia. Do you guys know anything about that? Some shopping cart killer found four bodies and they arrested him because he killed somebody and he rolled the bodies in the shopping cart. This is in Virginia. Oh my God. Please be extra, extra careful out there, guys. Please be extra careful out there. I'm praying for you. Be safe. Be safe out there because, you know, you got some crazy people out there. You got to look out for them. Oh, my goodness. Oh, God. I pray for the family and their victims. Oh, my goodness. That is sad. Look at this Christmas. Give you an idea of killing people. That is crazy. I'll be right back, guys. I'm going to put this on mute because I got a phone call. I'll be right back. Give me one minute. 